So it's a lovely sunny morning. We've started our hike up the Sakuro Historic Japanese Hiking Trail. So lovely weather. Hopefully the weather continues on like this. This is the first historical site, old Japanese police station ruins. A lot of the old Japanese telegraph poles are still lying around. A little greenback tit having breakfast. Nice thing about these old Japanese era forest roads is they're lovely and flat, very little up and down. A Taiwan burrowing, one of Taiwan's endemic alpine birds. Through there is a Swinho's pheasant, another one of Taiwan's endemic birds that you'll find quite commonly in alpine regions. But this is the first time for me to get one on film, which is quite cool because they are one of Taiwan's unofficial national birds. Check it out, quite majestic. Uh, and away it goes on its way. So this marks roughly the highest point of the trail, at about 2,000 meters. So downhill from here. Check out these awesome fungus. So they're creating rain underneath, like something out of Alice in Wonderland. So this funky looking bird is called a white-eared sibia. And it's up there enjoying a tasty bit of lunch. And now it's time to find fresh water and set up camp. And so we'll camp out overnight and then back in the morning. Wow, check it out. This is a Stejnidze's killback or mountain killback. I stumbled upon it while having my bath. So I'm not even fully dressed but I am super stoked to find it. What a cool snake. And check this out. If it gets a little annoyed, see it starts to spread its hood of its neck out, much like a cobra does. Look at that. Little cobra. An example of Batesian mimicry, where something harmless or relatively harmless mimics something dangerous, in this case a cobra, and by relatively harmless I mean these snakes are mildly venomous but not dangerous to humans. Wow, what an awesome find. I am very happy. Whoa, a ferret just came right upon me down the trail. I wonder if we could smell the musk from the snake. It seemed to be kind of both startled by me and yet, and yet still keen to come down the trail. Check it out. It seems to be really keen to come over here. To be honest, I'm a little bit afraid of it. I think it's trying to catch my snake. I'll bring it up to camp and show my friends and I'll bring it back down here after I get dressed properly. Keep it safe from that weasel. A red bamboo snake, by the looks of it. So I was mistaken. Not a red bamboo rat snake. Turns out this is just a very orange Piraeus, a uh, Formosan slug snake. Or is it Taiwan slug snake? Piraeus formosensis, something like that. Beautiful colors. It doesn't want to stick around. Off it goes on its little snail hunting adventure. Oh, it's a feisty one. These snakes are usually very docile. Seems uh, this one, oh, this one uh, striking at anything. 
So anyway, I'm fit to leave it alone and head back up to camp. So we're just just going down to the stream for a wash. Saw so this. So Pam had gone down to collect water at the stream and said she found saw a snake on the way up. So as I went down, I kept my eyes open. And sure enough, there it is. So I've never seen the snake before, but I did know what species it was as soon as I saw it. So we'll carefully bring it back down to the exact spot that I had found it and set it on its way. Off you go. We're at, we're at about 2,000 meters, but it's still a really warm night. Good night to go have a look around, so see if we can see any, any more snakes or flying squirrels, deer. Who knows? Let's see. Little mouse. It's going down. Oh. Oh, I just got stung by a stingy nettle. So we just found this Taiwan slug snake. The first for me. Well, actually the second Taiwan slug snake. The first one I found was just up there. About 30 minutes ago. Oh, stung. In the north of Taiwan, you can find Pares Ateao, very common. They're a paler, brownish, yellow color. This one here is very red, this species. Uh, Pares Formosensis, I think. Anyway, a really beautiful snake. These snakes eat slugs and snails, mostly snails. Non venomous. Can I touch it? Yep. Yeah, just gently touch it. They're pretty docile. Nice one. That was really fast. I want to take a quick picture. Yeah, do it. It's crazy to find two right next to each other and just down on the track there just up there is where the stejnagiri killback was so all these snakes three snakes in one spot and let's see what else we can find Yeah, oh, it's a deer. Is it deer? Yeah. He's over there. So this seems to be about the only flowing stream on the mountain, so there seems to be a lot of life congregating around here. So we'll carry on up the track on the other side and see what we can see. Is a little mole tracks green tree frog? Yeah, I can tell us when we're A giant red and white flying squirrel. Can you leave? No. No, it's still there. Oh, that's a tree sap? Yeah. So these weird beetles are eating the tree sap. Bro. and time to call it a night. So no more snakes, but we saw a couple of cool things. Yeah, so not too bad. This is a rather interesting little plant. If you look down here at its flower, it's quite cool. Well, good night. Good morning. It's our aunt. Lovely sunny morning by the looks of it. Mm. Oh, this is quite strong actually. It's a good enough in size.
and time to head back. You know, it was a very pleasant trip. A lot of cool creatures and great scenery. Good times. So we made it back to the car and time to head back to civilization. So if you enjoyed that, please hit like and feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.